This is question number 21, and we are told the position vectors uh, of point A and B are AOA is equals to 2, 4, and OB is equals to 12, minus 4. A point N is on is on AB such that AN is equals to a half AB and point N is on OB such that ON is to OB NB is equals to 1 is to 3 uh, part A find AB uh, NM magnitude of NM uh, and that so uh, the best thing here is first of all to make a sketch of this so we can say this is our point A and this is our point B. Since we have been given the position vector, the coordinates of A are 2, 4, because this is a position vector, and the, this is a 12 minus 4. Uh, you just invert the, 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 the column vector, the position vector. Then we have the origin. We have the origin. This is our O. And we are told this is our M. This is a point M. It is 1, 1. And then we have our N here, which is 1, 3. So that is the information. You can represent that information on the diagram like this. So what is AB? We say AB is equal to minus OA plus OB, which is equal to OB minus OA which is equals to now we have OB is 12 minus 4 and uh, we have you minus our OA is 2 4 and uh, this is equals to a uh, 12 minus 2 you'll be able to get 10 and uh, minus 4 uh, minus 4 that will give you minus 8 so that is it column vector AB. Uh, then we are supposed to find NM. This is our vector NM. So we can say NM it is to move from N to B. So is equals to NB plus uh, this is a, a BM. So which is equals to NB it is 3 times OB. So we can say this is a 3 over 4 uh, over OB then we have plus uh, the other one is a half a half minus AB so this is equals to uh, 3 over 4 we already have OB OB is 12 minus 4 12 minus 4 and we have this will be minus a half uh, our AB we have found it is 10 uh, this is a minus 8 so this you'll be able to get uh, you multiply by 4 it's 3 so this is 9 and this is a minus uh, this is a minus 3 so that's what you get in that first one uh, minus a half you get this is a uh, uh, five and this is minus four so this means that uh, this is equals to nine minus five that will give you four uh, minus three minus minus four that will give this will minus three plus four and that will give you one so that is a uh, that is a vector n m uh, but Roman number 3 we are told to find the magnitude of NM when you are given a vector in the XY the magnitude is uh, of that vector is equals to the square root of X squared uh, plus Y squared this means that uh, the vector the magnitude of NM is equals to the square root of uh, 4 squared uh, plus uh, this is uh, one squared this is we are using this and this will give you the square root of 17 which is equals to it, uh, if you uh, if you get the square root of 15 
it is 4.1 and this is to one decimal place okay we are through with that so we go to b a transition vector maps a onto a prime 5 minus 1 find the coordinates of the image of b under the transition so we can say to get oa it is equals to our oa plus the transition vector this means our oa here is uh, we have it is 5 uh, let's do this uh, our we have uh, 5 minus 1 we just write this in inverse way uh, and then uh, it is equals to our OA we already have here it is 2 4 uh, plus T the aim here is to get the translation vector so we have our T is equals to we take this to the other side it will be 5 minus 1 and we have minus 2 to power uh, minus 2 4 and that is going to give us uh, 3 and uh, th that is 5 minus 2 is 3 and 5 uh, minus 1 minus 4 that will give you minus 5 so that is a translation vector if that is a translation vector it means that uh, we can take OB prime is equals to our OB plus the translation vector we already have our OB so this means that it is 12 uh, minus 4 and uh, we have uh, plus the translation vector is 3 minus 5 so this is equals to uh, this is 12 plus uh, uh, 3 is 15 uh, minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 uh, this means that uh, uh, B plane not uh, excite, uh, B plane the coordinates are 15 and uh, minus 9 15 and minus 9 so that's how you get the coordinates of B plane and that is how you work out that question if you arrive to that stage you will be able to score 10 marks these are 2 marks 3 marks uh, we have 2 marks and another 3 marks so that's how you do that question on vectors which you learned in form 3